Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about the data transfer from a child job to a parent job. In one of my other videos I talked about that how a parent job can transfer data to child jobs uh, in order to be working on the divide and conquer methodology. It's a great idea that a parent job would pass on different types of data in the form of parameters to the child jobs and so the child job can perform different operations independently and then can return the result sets to the parent job and in this video we'll be talking about the other way around and that's how child job can work on independent integration jobs and then provide the result sets to the parent job let's switch to talent and see how it works so I have created a folder which is child, parent and I have three different integration jobs inside this one. I have two child jobs and one parent job. If I would like to see the hierarchy of this project so I can have a look. So I have parent job that's going to be managing two child integration jobs. So in the first place let's take a look on first child integration job. So we're doing something which is really simple. We have the uh, t fixed flow input component, and we have manually created some data, and that's like IDs and names. And we read the data from this component and write it to a buffer. So, buffer components are used for transferring data from child job to parent job, and they're also they're basically storing the data. In memory so if you open it you'll find nothing only you can have a look on the input and output schema for this job so we perform some operation and then we write the data to a T buffer output component it's a very simple example it could also be like reading data from multiple sources different databases or different flat files and performing different sort of complex transformations joining merging the data and at the end we're going to write the data we're going to write the result into a t buffer component and then we have second integration job and only difference is the id starts from four two and ends on six so in the first integration job we have from one to three and then we have four to six so that we can differentiate what each of these child jobs is writing on the buffer and the same way we have a buffer component so in order to get the data from the child jobs in the parent job we use this t run job component which doesn't provide any functionality of its own rather this is used to run child integration jobs so i open it up and i can have a look the job that we would like to run we select it from here by clicking this three dotted button and we select the version and in this case we would like to get some data from this integration job so you can click on copy child schema and when you click it you can have a look that ID and name these are two attributes this is the data that's being written from child job and you get it directly so it's it's really cool you don't even need to provide the schema of what you were writing in the integration in the child integration job you simply click copy child job schema and there you go you get the schema right away and the same goes for the second tier job component we get data from the first child job and then from the second child job and then we use t unite component which is basically used to merge data if Two different data sets have the same attributes so id name and we have id name so it's going to merge the rows from both of these components and the same goes for output so now we run the parent job and what we are supposed to get is the data from id one to three from this job and then four to six from this and completely merged together in the parent job 
let's run it and see and there you go this is the data that's that we have received from child job 1 and this is the data that we have received from child job 2 and we have merged the data and we have written it on the console we can perform operations based on our requirements and basically this was a very simple example of how we receive the data and work on it i hope you have got benefited from this video and you've got a good understanding of how data is being transferred from a child job to a parent job thanks a lot for watching the video i'll see you all in the next video